Netcasts you love. From people you trust. This is Twit. Bandwidth for Android App Arena is provided by Cashfly at C A C H E F L Y dot com. This is Android App Arena, episode 11 for Friday, September 5th, 2014. TV tracking. Hello and welcome to another episode of Android App Arena. I'm your host, Jason Howell, and it's my job to download a bunch of apps, pick the good ones, put them up against each other, and review them for you so you can decide if you want them to occupy a valuable space on your devices of choice. Much pressure hinges on this position, but I'm always up for the challenge, even if it does take me out of my comfort zone from time to time, kind of like today. This week's episode was inspired by the fact that a new season of TV is starting, and I realized that after a switch in DVRs not too long ago, I might miss some of my favorite shows when they return to the airwaves. It's not easy keeping track of all the great TV shows out there, especially right now. Uh, but I've noticed that even when I have a show DVR'd, Things can happen that make me miss episodes. If, for example, a show I know and that I love decides to release a spinoff with an alternate name, let's say Top Chef All-Stars, uh, my DVR subscription for simply Top Chef might actually miss that series. It sees them as two different shows, but I see them as one and the same. So this week, I'm going to take a closer look at apps that allow you to track your TV viewing. By doing so, Hopefully, you'll miss less shows. The other side to this is you'll realize just how much TV you might be watching. I know I did. Now, first of all, TV tracking is an interesting world. I was a novice going into this genre of apps for today's episode, and it turns out that people who've been using TV tracking apps and services for a while are very passionate about what they like and why. There are a number of apps that are all basically approach the same kinds of functions. As a TV tracker, users want the ability to say, these are the shows that I care about, and these are the episodes that I've seen before. On top of that, there are services online that act as a universal way to store your personalized TV collection data for many of these apps to tap into. Tracked, spelt T-R-A-K-T, -T, for example, is one of the more popular online databases for storing such information. Tracked is actually very popular on home theater PCs as a way to automatically scrabble viewing data to its service. It's also somewhat open in that any tracking you do inside an app that supports Tracked will automatically sync that data over to their database. That makes it easy to move your data from one app to another. It also allows you to visit the Tracked website to manage your viewing in a web browser if you like. A few of today's apps have compatibility with that service and the other has a legacy of its own. So with that said, don't touch that dial. Let's take a closer look at the best of the best apps for Android that allow you to track all of that TV you're watching. All right, first up, let's take a look at TV Tag. Now, if you haven't heard of TV Tag, you've probably heard of Git Glue, which was its former self before the beginning of this year. Git Glue was arguably one of the most popular TV and movie tracking apps of the past few years. I know I heard about it all the time. Uh, and since the switch to TV Tag, it seems like maybe competition has leveled the playing field a bit more. TV Tag has a social function to the service that differentiates it from the rest of today's apps. And it's certainly appealing to people who want to have a shared viewing experience with other fans of those same shows. So, for example, if I'm watching a show, I can check into it and have that broadcast out to my various uh, social networks and also to the greater TV tag community, which can be viewed and interacted with on the show and episode pages themselves. Now, users are also awarded stickers for their viewing. This is something that goes back to uh, when GitGlue was around. And uh, GitGlue was very known for this, and it's carried over into the new service. As you like more TV shows, your feed will display updates related to those shows, things like announcements for upcoming episodes, clips from previous episodes, and friends updates. Though the process of adding friends really kind of felt spammy to me, and I just wasn't willing to post on my friend's Facebook walls in order to connect through the TV Tag app. 
There are a ton of notification options, both for your device and your email inbox, so definitely check that out to make sure you aren't inundated after signing up. In regular use, I did find TV Tag to run a bit slow. Clicking on a show or a section of the app would often result in a blank page as it pulled the data, and eventually that data was displayed, but that kind of constant waiting can get very tiring over time. In retrospect, TV Tag feels more like an app to check in and chat about your favorite TV shows and not necessarily the best way to manage a comprehensive list of your TV viewing habits. But if the social element sounds good to you, search for TV Tag in the Play Store. Next up is Series Guide, and this is the first app in today's list that features tracked support for free. Consequently, you can add your TV Tag account as well, which means Series Guide will keep all three databases up to date with your viewing history. Uh, if you want to add a show to your list, just hit this TV Plus button at the top, and immediately you're given a list of trending shows to pick from, or you can go straight to the search box that's powered by the TV DB, and you can add shows from there. Once you have shows on your list, this upcoming tab will show episodes that are soon to air. This is super handy to me, so I know to make sure my DVR is ready for those incoming episodes. And recent, shows you what's aired in the past few days so you know what you may have missed. Now on any episode listed, hitting that check mark next to the entry will register a view and pass that data along to Tracked or TV Tag if it's set up to do so. You can star any item on your list and that basically sorts those items to the top, making it easy to find your favorite shows right away. Now, by using the Lists feature, you can create a number of lists that help to organize your vast collection and make it all easier to maneuver. And statistics will appeal to you numbers nerds out there that really need to know just how many episodes you have yet to view. And finally, there's a widget that displays your upcoming episodes on your home screen. Now, much of the functionality is totally free, but if you want more, you can purchase the X-Pass for $2.49 per year with a 30-day free trial, or you can pay a one-time fee of $4.99. That gets you access to more themes, notifications that can be very handy for the TV addicts out there, and of course, any special features in the future. But for free, it's pretty darn capable, and it has an appealing design. Head on over to the Play Store and check out Series Guide for yourself. And finally, there's TV Show Faves. The thing I like about this app right away is the easy to understand console when you launch the app. For some reason, this approach makes a bit more sense to me in the TV viewing perspective because it almost resembles a remote control. You tap on My Shows to see an alphabetized list of the shows in your catalog. Clicking into any show brings you to everything you might want to know and do for that particular show, when it airs, whether it's an active series or not, what it's all about, tags if you've created and assigned any, and historical information. Navigate to Seasons to manage which episode within each season you've watched. Recent and upcoming keep you up to date on everything current with the show. And Actors brings you to IMDb to keep tabs on the people that make your show so awesome. Now you can go to My Schedule if you want an easy to view list of all of your upcoming episodes across every show you have added. And if you want to overwhelm yourself with a to-do list for viewing, that's what to do is all about. Always a huge number in there. And Top Faves is a good way to see what others are watching with controls for dialing down the list to top 100 as well as filtering the list by genre, among other options. The app is free, but $5 unlocks all other features including calendar sync with your Google calendars, notifications, third-party integration with services like Tracked, TV Tag, Twitter, and Facebook, and finally a couple of themes for good measure. Oh, and the included widgets are pretty killer. That offers you three different ways to surface your TV data on your home screen. So look for TV show faves in the Play Store. All right, so now comes the hard part. I have to choose one of these to recommend over the rest. Now, right off the top, let's consider that TV Tag is out of the race. Its features just didn't seem to stack up against the other two, and constant lag really turned me off from wanting to use it with any regularity. So that leaves TV show faves and series guide. And online, there are fierce debates about which is better. So I envision that there really is no right or wrong choice here. It's kind of personal preference more than anything. But for me, personally, I choose TV show faves. I really like the flow of the app. 
very responsive. Its widgets are actually flexible and pretty, even better than Series Guide. And what what can I say? It just it speaks to me. Like I said, it's personal preference. I know Series Guide fans, you're throwing digital tomatoes at your screens, but why not channel that food aggression into something more productive? Email me instead at arena at twit.tv and let me know why I'm wrong. Okay. Now that we know just how much TV we've been missing, let's transition toward another way to waste valuable time, playing games. And this week, I'm going to show off a new Endless Runner with a motion picture tie-in that, well, let's just say the genre matches the movie perfectly in this week's Hot to Trot. How many times have you wanted to just drop everything and run for miles and miles? No, you know, scratch that. Run circles around the earth. Well, I know this one guy who did that. His name was Forrest, Forrest Gump. And now anyone can run as Forrest in the new game titled, aptly, Run, Forrest, Run. If you've seen the movie Forrest Gump, you have an idea of what to expect. It was a famous scene from the movie. This is an endless runner that really makes no bones about the fact that it's cashing in on the popularity of an Academy Award winning movie that released 20 years ago and is currently seeing a re-release on IMAX theaters. So be forewarned, this free to play game has tons of in-app purchase opportunities. And if that turns you off right there, probably aren't going to enjoy this game very much. But if you like the endless runner genre, you'll like it. You pick yourself up off the bench and start running through the streets of Alabama, dodging automobiles, barricades, down trees, and much more. You can jump, shuffle to one of three lanes, slide underneath obstacles. You have all of the mobility of an endless runner. Along the way, you try to pick up as many coins as possible, but that's not the only currency. There's also chocolates, of course, that can be traded in for things like special helmets and hats that give forest powers that do things like make you jump higher, slow down gameplay, and uh, take a hit easily. There are also other zones that can be unlocked when you save up enough chocolates. Now, all of this can, of course, be bought with real money, which makes Run Forest Run the quintessential free-to-play game with in-app purchases and social network nagging in tow. So beware, if you can stand to get over that, there's a pretty fun endless runner hiding underneath. Just muster up enough patience. I know I had to. The game is Run Forest Run. It can be found for free in the Play Store. As far as uh, Run Forest Run is concerned, the in-app purchases might just blow it out of the water for you. I find the gameplay a lot of fun, but there was a lot of nagging in that game, so beware uh, if you decide to check it out. All right, that is it for today's episode. Really appreciate you, uh, you know, keeping up on Android apps with us on Android App Arena. Keep sending your favorite app submissions to arena at twit.tv. Of course, you can find us on Reddit to vote for your favorite apps in many different categories. There's a bunch of categories open right now at androidapparena.reddit.com. I have a work cut out for me based on how many <laughs> categories are currently live right now. Search for Android App Arena in Google Plus to find the community there. Of course, you can download and subscribe to the show anytime by visiting twit.tv slash arena. And don't forget to check out the live viewing party and developer interviews if we have one on Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific at live.twit.tv with the edited episode appearing in the feeds later that day. All right, that's it, folks. Thanks so much for joining me today. And once again, my name is Jason Howell. I'll see you next week in the arena.